Novel coronavirus, SARS-CoV-2, is known to cause respiratory failure, which is the hallmark of acute COVID-19, as defined by the new NIH or FDA classification. In a breakthrough in the fight against coronavirus, doctors at a Houston hospital in the United States have found that RLF-100, known as Aviptadil, proved effective on critically ill patients with respiratory failure. In this video, we will talk about how this drug acts, conditions in which it is used, dosages and side effects. So welcome again to Intellect Medigos, where learning is made easy. I am Dr. Chirag Madan, working as an intensivist ICU consultant at Apollo Hospital, New Delhi. The information provided in this video is from clinicaltrials.gov. Link is given in the description. We have just summarized data available on the internet as well as in different articles about this drug. This is an educational channel on which we provide medical information for all the medicos around the world. We do not recommend or advise or promote any kind of drug. Kindly seek help from your doctor in case of any symptoms. So now let's dive into this topic. Aviptadil is a formulation of vasoactive intestinal polypeptide that is VIP. VIP is now known to be produced throughout the body and to be primarily concentrated in the lungs. VIP has been shown in more than 100 peer-reviewed studies to have potent anti-inflammatory or anti-cytokine activity in animal models of respiratory distress, acute lung injury and inflammation. Most importantly, 70% of VIP in the body is bound to a rare cell in the lung, the alveolar type 2 cells, which is critical for transmission of oxygen to the body. COVID-19 related death is primarily caused by respiratory failure. Before this acute phase, however, there is evidence of early viral infection of alveolar type 2 cells. These cells are known to have angiotensin converting enzyme 2, that is ACE2 receptors at high levels, which serve as route of entry for SARS-CoV-2 into the cells. Coronaviruses are shown to replicate in alveolar type 2 cells, but not in more numerous type 1 cells. These same type 2 alveolar cells have high concentration of VIP receptors on their cell surfaces, giving rise to the hypothesis that VIP could specifically protect these cells from injury. Injury to the type 2 alveolar cells is an increasingly plausible mechanism of COVID-19 disease progression. More importantly, type 2 cells manufacture surfactant that coats the lung and is essential for oxygen exchange. Other than RLF-100, no currently proposed treatment for COVID-19 specifically target these vulnerable type 2 cells. Aviptadil has a demonstrated 20-year history of safety in type in phase 2 trials for sarcoid, pulmonary fibrosis, bronchospasm and a phase 1 trial in ARDS. In that phase 1 trial, 8 patients with severe ARDS on mechanical ventilation were treated with ascending dosage of VIP. 7 of the 8 patients were successfully extubated and were alive at the 5-day time point. Six left the hospital and one died of unrelated cardiac event. Neurorex and Relief Therapeutic Holdings announced that RLF-100, that is Aviptadil, showed rapid recovery from respiratory failure in the most critically ill patients with COVID-19. The first report of rapid clinical recovery under emergency use was posted by the doctors from Houston Hospital. The report describes a 54-year-old man who developed COVID-19 while being treated for a rejection of double lung transplant and who came off a ventilator within four days. Similar results were subsequently seen in more than 15 patients treated under emergency use. Patients with critical COVID-19 were seen to have rapid clearing of classic pneumonitis findings on X-ray, accompanied by an improvement in blood oxygen and 50% of greater average decrease in laboratory markers associated with COVID-19 inflammation. The clinical findings may be based on evidence that VIP inhibits 
replication of SARS-CoV-2 virus in human lung cells and immune cells like monocytes. The work was reported by Brazilian researchers working in a level 4 biocontainment laboratory. The same researchers reported a case control study in which patients who survived being on ventilator for COVID-19 had significantly higher levels of VIP in the blood than those who died of respiratory failure. Now coming on to the dosages. Patients randomized to intravenous avifedril will receive ex escalating doses from 50 to 150 picomoles per kg per hour over 12 hours. Side effects of this drug? Numerous healthy volunteer studies have shown that IV infusion of avifedril is well tolerated with few side effects or few adverse effects including alteration in blood pressure, heart rate or ECG. Outcome measures of this trial. The primary outcome measures are first mortality, second PO2 by FiO2, whereas secondary outcome measures are first TNF alpha, second multi-system organ failure free days. Time frame for outcome measures is five days with follow up through 30 days. So this is all about this drug till now. We will notify you if any further information comes for this drug or any other drug useful in the treatment of this deadly COVID-19. Till then, stay healthy and safe. Thank you guys for watching this video.